Hi, hello, welcome to the third session of previous year question paper discussion. Reading comprehension de previous year question papers pick edit, our questions no ki, uh, and answers to discuss in the session on it. Apo namukka adileke karaka. Okay, passage waikam. Read the passage below and solve the questions based on it. Passage number six. John Muir, Earth Planet Universe. These words are written on the inside cover of the notebook from which the contents of this volume have been taken. They reflect the mood in which the late author and explorer undertook his thousand mile walk to the Gulf of Mexico a half century ago. No less does this refreshingly cosmopolitan address which might have startled any finder of the book reveal the temper and the comprehensiveness of Mr. Moyer's mind. Even at the early age of 29, his eager interest in every aspect of the natural world had made him a citizen of the universe. On these expeditions, he had disciplined himself to endure hardship, for his notebooks disclosed the fact that he often went hungry and slept in the woods or on the open prairies with no cover except the clothes he wore. Often times, Mr. Muir writes in some unpublished Biographical notes, I had to sleep out without blankets and also without supper or breakfast. But usually, I had no great difficulty in finding a loaf of bread in the widely scattered clearings of the farmers. With one of these big backwoods loaves, I was able to wander many a long, wild mile, free as the winds in the glorious forest and bogs, gathering plants and feeding on God's abounding, inexhaustible spiritual beauty breed inexhaustible spiritual beauty bread only once in my long canada wanderings was the deep peace of the wilderness savagely broken it happened in the maple woods about midnight when i was cold and my fire was low i was awakened by the awfully dismal howling of the wolves and got up in haste to replenish the fire had it not been for the accidental injury to his right eye in the month of march 1867 he probably would have started somewhat earlier than he did in a letter written to indianapolis friends on the day after the accident he refers mournfully to the interruption of a long cherished plan for weeks he writes i have daily consulted maps in locating a route through the southern states the west indies south america and europe a botanical journey studied for years but alas, I am half blind. My right eye trained to minute analysis is lost and I have scarce heart to open the other. The injury to his eye proved to be less serious than he had at first supposed. In June, he was writing to a friend. I have been reading and botanizing for some weeks and find that for such work I am not very much disabled. In an account written after the excursion, he says, I was eager to see Illinois prairies on my way home, so we went to Decatur near the center of the state thence. I botanized one week on the prairie about seven miles southwest of Pacatonica. To me, all plants are more precious than before. My poor eye is not better nor worse. A cloud is over it, but in gazing over the widest landscapes, I am not always sensible of its presence. Okay, so that brings us to the end of the passage. E passage uh, travelogue bole. Mix it, mix it, and either can either or all parina it under where all the account bole under. Okay, so uh, Randine mixed the right and gun, John Muir and a carry on a parina. I'm a question like a caraca. John Muir, Earth, Planet, Universe. Muir wrote this in his notebook because. This is Muir, they have a notebook lady than a passage in the starting line. In the Gundana, Yalid, then a notebook lady. Options no ike. Options no ike. He did not have a permanent address. He wanted to be a traveler all his life. His love for botany went beyond borders. He wanted to live in the open all his life. Either an answer. Karana. He did not have a permanent address. Allah. He wanted to be a traveler all his life. Allah, he, his love for botany went beyond borders. He wanted to live in the open for all his life. 
സി ആണ് ആൻസർ കാരണം എനെ പറ്റി മെൻഷനേ ഇല്ല ബി എന്ന് പറയുന്നത് നമുക്ക് ഇൻഫർ ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുന്നില്ല ഈ പാസേജ് വായിക്കുമ്പോൾ ട്രാവലർ ആവണം എന്ന് പറയുന്ന കാര്യം പറയുന്നില്ല പക്ഷേ ഫോർ ബോട്ടണി ഹി വോണ്ടഡ് ടു ഗോ ബിയോണ്ട് ബോർഡേഴ്സ് അത് പറയുന്നുണ്ട് നാലാമത്തെ കാര്യം പിന്നെ അയാൾ ഇതിനകത്ത് അധികം മെൻഷൻ ചെയ്യുന്നില്ല ഓക്കെ സോ ഓപ്ഷൻ സി ഇസ് ദി ആൻസർ ഇത് ഐ പി മാറ്റ് ഇൻഡോർ ട്വൻറ്റി ട്വൻറ്റിയിലെ ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ആണ് കേട്ടോ Moving on, second question. Which of these did John Muir had no great difficulty in doing? John Muir is not very difficult to do the job. Finding food among farmers, eating regularly every day, sleeping without blankets on certain nights, chasing wolves that howled through the nights. Let's go to the passage. Here we go. 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 I had no great difficulty in finding a loaf of bread. So, answer is... Finding food among farmers. Eating regularly every day. Because uh, A and A and B and B are not mentioned. A and B are not mentioned. So this is the answer. Sleeping uh, without blankets on certain nights. Alla. Chasing wolves that howled through the nights. Alla. This is the answer. Option A is the answer. Okay. IP match indoor 2020 la question. Aane. Next question. Question number 3. How did the experience with nature affect John Muir? John Muir ne nature right to experience enge nyan affect cheyadathu. He felt spiritually fulfilled. He became a better botanist. He felt successful after collecting rare plants. He enjoyed the breeze in the glorious forest. Endan answer vannirikkunnathu? Okay, namukku idin answer kandupidikkam. We can go back to the passage. Okay, appo namukku idin answer passage nokkam. Ee last line kando With one of these big backwoods loaves, I was able to wander many a long wild mile, free as the winds in the glorious forest and box gathering plants and feeding on goats abounding, inexhaustible spiritual beauty breed. Spiritual, and all the term can do. So, that will become the answer. How did the experience with nature affect John Muir? He felt spiritually fulfilled. Better botanist Allah, uh, felt successful after collecting rare plants Allah, he enjoyed the breeze in the glorious forest Allah. This is the answer. Option A. Okay. Now, let me ask you a question. According to the passage, in what way was Moir affected by his injury? In the reedhi lana, adehathini injury affected the other. His injured eye healed well very slowly. He could not open his left eye during his exploration. His eyesight was affected, but he was able to carry on. He took a long time to consult maps and study them. Okay, so let's go to the passage. Now, here, I have been reading and botanizing for some weeks and find that for such work, I am not very much disabled. You can infer that. Uh, his uh, eyesight was affected, but he was able to carry on. Pin name reference on that is a cloudy thing. Eyes will feel in on the bakshe and alum. He was able to manage. Uh, healed very slowly Allah. Uh, then he could not open his left eye Allah. Uh, it took a long time. Adu Allah. Okay. So option C is the answer. Moving on to the next question. When Moir said that he botanized, he meant that. ഹി ബോട്ടനൈസ്ഡ് എന്ന് പറഞ്ഞ വാക്ക് ഇതിനകത്ത് ഉപയോഗിച്ചിട്ടുണ്ട് കുറെ തവണ അപ്പം അതിൻ്റെ ഉദ്ദേശം എന്താണെന്നാണ് ചോദിച്ചിരിക്കുന്നത് സ്റ്റഡീഡ് പ്ലാൻസ് ആൻഡ് മെയ്ഡ് നോട്ട്സ് ഓൺ ദം സ്റ്റഡീഡ് പ്ലാൻസ് ഇൻ ദ നേച്ചുറൽ ഹാബിറ്റാൻ സ്റ്റഡീഡ് പ്ലാൻസ് ജ്യൂറിങ് ഇസ് എക്സ്പ്ലോറേഷൻ സ്റ്റഡീഡ് പ്ലാൻസ് ആൻഡ് ക്ലാസിഫൈഡ് ദം എല്ലാ ഓപ്ഷൻസും ആൻസർ പോലെ തോന്നും പക്ഷേ ശരിക്കും പറഞ്ഞു കഴിഞ്ഞാൽ നമുക്ക് പാസേജിൽ നിന്ന് മനസ്സിലാവും ദാറ്റ് അദ്ദേഹം ഓരോ സ്ഥലത്ത് പോയിട്ടാണ് പ്ലാൻസിനെ പറ്റി പഠിച്ചിരുന്നത് അതുകൊണ്ട് തന്നെ നാച്ചുറൽ ഹാബിറ്റാറ്റിൽ നിന്നാണ് പഠിച്ചിരുന്നത് ഇതല്ല എക്സ്പ്ലോറേഷൻ അല്ല ഇതുമല്ല സോ സ്റ്റഡീഡ് പ്ലാൻസ് ഇൻ ദർ നാച്ചുറൽ ഹാബിറ്റാറ്റ് ഓപ്ഷൻ ബി ഇസ് ദി ആൻസർ ഓക്കെ റൈറ്റ് Moving on to the next question. Which of these sentences is not true? John Muir explored several new places even on his way home. There was a cloud over the landscape he travelled. He was committed to being a botanist more than ever. He recorded his adventures in the notebook. This is the sentence that is not true. It is not true. It is not true. It is not true. John Muir explored several new places even on his way home. It is true. Uh, there was a cloud over the landscape he travelled. Uh, no mention we have to wait he was committed to being a botanist more than ever is true he recorded his adventures in the notebook is true ab idana not true aitulla sentence so this is the answer option b is the answer got it 
right this is a question picked from ip match indoor 2020 right then okay so moving on to the next passage passage number seven read the passage below and solve the questions based on it Supposing half a dozen or a dozen men were cast ashore from a wreck on an uninhabited island and left to their own resources, one of course, according to his capacity, would be set to one business and one to another. The strongest to dig and to cut wood and to build huts for the rest, the most dexterous to make shoes out of bark and coats out of skins, the best educated to look for iron or lead in the rocks and to plan the channels for the irrigation of the fields. But though their labors were thus uh, naturally severed, that small group of shipwrecked men would understand well enough that the speediest progress was to be made by helping each other, not by opposing each other. And they would know that this help could only be properly given so long as they were frank and open in their relations and the difficulties which each lay under properly explained to the rest. So that any appearance of secrecy or separateness in the actions of any of them would instantly and justly be looked upon with suspicion by the rest as the sign of some selfish or foolish proceeding on the part of the individual. If, for instance, the scientific man were found to have gone out at night, unknown to the rest, to alter the sluices the others would think, and in all probability rightly think that he wanted to get the best supply of water to his own field, and if the shoemaker refused to show them where the bark grew which he made the sandals of, they would naturally think, and in all probability rightly think, that he didn't want them to see how much there was of it, and that he meant to ask from them more corn and potatoes in exchange for his sandals than the trouble of making them deserved. And thus, although each man would have a portion of time to himself in which he was allowed to do what he chose without, without let or inquiry, so long as he was working in that particular business which he had undertaken for the common benefit, any secrecy on his part would be immediately supposed to mean mischief and would require to be accounted for or put an end to. And this all the more because whatever the work might be, certainly there would be difficulties about it which when once they were well explained might be more or less done away with by the help of the rest so that assuredly every one of them would advance with his labour not only more happily but more profitably and quickly by having no secrets and by frankly bestowing and frankly receiving such help as lay in his way to get or to give. Okay, so that brings us to the end of the passage. This passage is actually simple, but it has very long sentences. That is confusing. Okay, this uh, passage is that one of the people who are in the ship are uninhabited islands. If you are in the island, 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 you are in the island. And this group is surviving, you are in the island, 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 you are in the island. Kita lenda ke karya yang lunda, awam enda ke alat ini pergi tani passage ni ada parah ini ada. Nama kita question ni lekik kerja. Ini dah IP match Indo 2019 le question ana. Okay, first question. When a dozen men are cast away on an imaginary island, the best educated would look for metals in rocks because. Ini nato parah ini nanda. Best educated itu allah beri metals metals evade anu nanda rocks ni le tapu men. Nada endu kon dana nana cuy kena. Metals can be used to make weapons. Such an island probably has unexploited resources. He may find it beneath him to dig or cut or make shoes. He is suited for such work. In that answer, educated itola men ne konde metals no ki piki na inda karya men da na because he is suited for such work. Metals vechite weapons onda ka na lla unexploited resources allah do onda lla dig or cut cheya men di talla because that man is suited for such work. Oru alkarim oru work ke chey nuna. Namarada passage na do parayi nunda. Okay. So option D is the answer. Moving on. Second question. The author states that any appearance of secrecy or separateness would instantly and justly be looked upon with suspicion. From this statement, we may infer that. अब author बारे इन्होंने और secrecy उन्नड़ा हुई है और separation कारण क्यों क्यों के चेंद हैं न्याल अब तो तो ना तो रु doubtful light तो नोक नोकी कारण आदेल ने ना हमारे इन दाने infer चेंद ना द what is secret is not what is separate. Secrecy is not exactly the same as separateness. It is naturally 
to be sub suspicious of secrecy. It only takes an instant for a relationship to deteriorate. Ape idil e dhaan namk idil ninnu infer jayaan saadhikinnadu. E option A alla option B alla. Karnan what is secret is not what is separate. Secrecy is not exactly the same as separateness. Does not, you know, uh, uh, idu random. E options random namada question na. Um, correct ait verunade alla related alla it is natural to be suspicious of secrecy it only takes an instant for a relationship to deteriorate idil option d aayirikum veriya because idinathu parayunnathu enne totally endana nammude oru group engane correct ait cooperation lude survive cheyan pattum nalladana appo oru cheriya oru suspicion vannu kanya aa total relationship deteriorate cheyum so that is the answer okay right next question The instance of the shoemaker who refuses to show his sores and asks for more corn and potatoes is an example of dash. ഷൂമേക്കർ അദ്ദേഹം എവിടെ നിന്നാണ് ഷൂ ഉണ്ടാക്കിയതെന്ന് കാണിച്ചു കൊടുക്കാതെ അതിന് പകരം കുറച്ച് കൂടുതൽ കോൺസും പൊട്ടറ്റോസും ചോദിക്കുന്നുണ്ട് ആ ഇൻസ്റ്റൻസ് എന്തിന് എക്സാമ്പിൾ ആണ് അ സ്ട്രോങ് ബാർഗെയിൻ അൺഫെയർ പ്രാക്ടീസ് ദ സിസ്റ്റം ഓഫ് ബാർട്ടർ ദ ഇൻറ്റൻ ടു മേക്ക് ട്രബിൾ ഏതാണ് ആൻസർ It is actually an unfair practice. Because he is, uh, he is saying that the passage is not the same thing. He is saying that he is not the same thing. not actually asking for it barter sisthathilulla asking okke undu idu adeham manapooram adeyathinte source kaanikan refuse cheyana adondu enne adoru bargainu alla barteru alla he is trying to create some trouble pakshe ennalum adhe namukku koodalayittu parayan pattunnathu that it is an unfair practice adoru unfair practice aanu so this is the answer option b is the answer okay now moving on according to the author whatever one's work might be ഓദർ എൻ്റെ ഒപ്പീനിയൻ അനുസരിച്ച് ഒരാളുടെ വർക്ക് എന്താണെങ്കിലും ഡാഷ് ഹാർഡ്ഷിപ്സ് ആർ ഗോയിങ് ടു ബി പാർട്ട് ഓഫ് ഇറ്റ് വൺ കെ നോട്ട് കീപ് കംപ്ലെയിനിങ് വൺ ഷുഡ് എക്സ്പെക്ട് അതേഴ്സ് ടു അഷ്വർ ഓഫ് ഹെൽപ്പ് ആൻഡ് അഡ്വാൻസ് അവർ ലേബേഴ്സ് വൺ മസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് എ ഹെൽപ്പ് ടു അതേഴ്സ് ഇൻ ഓർഡർ ടു റിസീവ് ഹെൽപ്പ് ഇതിൽ ഏതാണ് നമുക്ക് പാസേജിൽ നിന്ന് ഇൻഫർ ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റുന്നത് ഓക്കെ ഇതിൽ ഓപ്ഷൻ എയുടെ കാര്യം പാസേജിൽ മെൻഷൻ ഇല്ല ഓപ്ഷൻ ബിയുടെ കാര്യം മെൻഷൻ ഇല്ല ഓപ്ഷൻ സിയുടെ കാര്യവും മെൻഷൻ ഇല്ല പക്ഷേ പാസേജിനകത്ത് മെൻഷൻ ചെയ്യുന്ന കാര്യമുണ്ട് ഒരു ഗ്രൂപ്പ് ഒരുമിച്ച് സർവൈവ് ചെയ്യണമെങ്കിൽ നമ്മൾ അവരെയും ഹെൽപ്പ് ചെയ്യണം അവരിൽ നിന്ന് ഹെൽപ്പ് വേണ്ടി വരികയും ചെയ്യും സോ വൺ മസ്റ്റ് ഓഫർ ഹെൽപ്പ് ടു അതേഴ്സ് ഇൻ ഓർഡർ ടു റിസീവ് ഹെൽപ്പ് ദിസ് ഇസ് ദി ആൻസർ ഓക്കെ ദിസ് ഇസ് ദി ആൻസർ റൈറ്റ് Next question. The author's belief is that for progress to happen, dash. Progress and how many people are going to do? A team should consist of people with multiple talents. Cooperation among team members is essential. One must deal with those who are secretive. Transparency among all concerned is mandatory. This is the option for this. ഓക്കെ ആ ടീം ഷുഡ് കൺസിസ്റ്റ് ഓഫ് പീപ്പിൾ വിത്ത് മൾട്ടിപ്പിൾ ടാലൻസ് അത് എപ്പോഴും നടക്കണം എന്നില്ല സോ യു ക്യാൻ റൂൾ ഔട്ട് ദാറ്റ് Uh, cooperation among team members is essential that we can keep uh, for thinking one must deal with those who are secretive that cannot happen transparency among all concerned is mandatory idu und cooperation and transparency are very important transparency are very important cooperation undavum cooperation undavum pakshe transparency undengile secrecy onnu maintain cheyadirnal mathrame namukku proper aite progress undavulu so option d is the answer okay option d is the answer moving on the writer makes a hypothesis which can be related to dash writer ee oru karyam parayunnathilude oru hypothesis aanu munnotu vekkunnathu adu endilekku relate cheyan pattum communities in general an imaginary island rich with resources an ideal world of talented people a primitive and unsophisticated world idu namukku easy aayittu kandupidikkana oru chodyam aanu answer endayirikkum it is not at all an imaginary island with uh, rich with resources an ideal world of talented people alla a primitive and unsophisticated society alla he is representing communities in general engenaanu communities in general function cheynadu ennolladana adeham namukku ee passage lude kaanichu thannirikkunnathu okay so that is the answer and and this question has been taken from ip maths indoor 2019 So that brings us to the end of this third session of uh, question answer discussion previous year question paper ne ini value added notes check kiya and topic test nokka okay so we'll meet in yet another video thank you